utilize it to, to the best potential. And is, isn't that the, the tremendous opportunity? We're all seeing that, you know, the combination of, of both your statements that right now we, we're, we're obviously witnessing that people are starting to wash longer, which a year and a half ago they really weren't willing to do. Well, we don't. And, uh, well, and, and now but we, it's not we have room uh, just <laughs> one last thought. We're gonna have that. We're gonna have that opportunity to, to in, to really invent that new language and to invent that new, you know, if you will, art form and that way to tell that story. Well, I think it's that's inevitable, right? Because I think we can all agree that no one's figured out how to tell a good story online right now in any way that's different from what's happened right. in other popular media. But a good every, story every is a good story. I mean, it doesn't it, it shouldn't have to be different? Every technology, every technology has different forms of storytelling. And so obviously, when you look at a book versus a movie, that's obviously different. Or they enable different types. When you look at a silent era movie versus a contemporary movie, yeah. that's very different. If you look at a contemporary movie versus a contemporary television show, those are very different forms they of may, storytelling. They may be the different forms of getting your story across, but the, the Well, that's the storytelling. Okay. In a way, in a way, in a way I, I love, please argue, but in a way, Can we you, throw can't, you can't even, you can't even yes. extract Abigail from the environment she's in. The environment you present online for Abigail's clips becomes part of that story. That's an opportunity you don't have if you just display it. I think you know what, I'm, I'm, also, I'm reacting to something that I was that you had nothing to do with. I was at a, a, a breakfast on Saturday. <laughs> well, I was probably behind it. I was, it was a breakfast on Saturday. And people were discuss. It was this, it was this discussion about what what is the new uh, story, and um, you know, a couple of, of people who you know you'd hoped would be a lot more intelligent were saying things like you know. Well, it's all about being interactive now because you know we have that option to do that. And at the end of the day, good storytelling is craft is is, is, is craftsmanship. But you don't get a watch maker to, to open your watch in front of you and then ask you, "What should I do next, mate?" You know. And 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 so you know you might want to you, you tell a story. You you've got to create characters again that uh, resonate, that etc. Cetera, et cetera. All those cliches come in this case. It's all true. Um, you might want to give the illusion. In this in this world, that the the, the the audience might be somehow affecting the story. I mean, you know, we'll we'll, we'll do episodes of Abigail where we'll we'll respond to, to questions and comments and whatnot. But Abigail's actual story, you know, her chase to, uh, for the, for the cure for, for this Bloomberger syndrome and, and to get Lance Anderson, this hunky thirteen year old who didn't see this episode, to actually go out with. Um, that's you know part of her world and and, and part of her story, and so. Um, you know, just talking about the storytelling earlier, that's what I would kind of react to. But, but the that. truth is, I think short form programming is an informed of storytelling. Three years ago, now that it was May 2005, I did a pretty extensive report looking at all the short form content in the US versus the rest of the world. And, you know, internationally, short films had a life, right? They would, they, they actually could be bought and sold and exhibited. In the US, it was, you know, Mike and Spike, it was pretty rare, or Spike or whatever it is. I mean, it was limited as far as the viability of what value a short story had in the U.S. from a video perspective. There was nowhere to sell it. There was nowhere to distribute it. And the internet, I mean, YouTube really opened that up, though. YouTube, you know, with all the crap and the cat flying and all that stuff, suddenly you started to see people telling story. And it was storytelling that we hadn't seen previously, at least in the U.S., so I, I think that is fairly new in, how do I tell a beginning, middle, and end in three minutes? I, I fully agree with that. I, I would just argue that we haven't come to that answer and that that's a work in progress. The, the, I mean, the, the interesting thing is, is, as you say, we're right now using a medium to transport the old stuff we made in a lot of cases. Mm -hmm. um, it did briefly, you know, have this crazy, crazy, you know, spike of crap video, uh, which yeah, started- briefly. Yeah, that's which, over. Well, no, no, no. I, think, I mean, as as the oh my god. I mean, if you if you were as a filmmaker walked into almost interactive agency, they go, "Can you tell your story in a minute?" Because quite <coughs> frankly, that's all that really works on the internet. I, you know, you go into Yahoo, you go into MSN, you would run into this problem that suddenly everybody who was blinded by this oh my god, we can't tell long form stuff on the internet. It won't work. I sat in God knows how many meetings with people going, I'm sorry, if it's over five minutes, it just really won't work for the internet. Um, now people are going, well, wait a minute. Like, you know, when they're at home, we might actually plug this thing into a viewing surface and watch Heroes. I mean, you know, you know what the average viewing time on ABC.com is? 40 minutes. Yeah, 53 wow. minutes. 
Because they're watching whole episodes of Lost. We also have compelling content with, with Goodnight Burbank. The reason I didn't bring a full episode of that is because they're now approaching about 10 minutes long. And the reason is, is, is one of the biggest complaints we got by fans by a country mile when we started at five, six minute episodes. They're not long enough. So we, we've stretched them to 10, and the only reason we're not going any further is uh, you can't fucking pay me enough. The, but the good news is technology here will enable us to go that next step. And it is really interesting from games and interactive storytelling. We can really start playing with some cool things. You can start thinking about, how do I get the audience involved in this, li what used to be a linear narrative, that I want to get them interjected in point? And we're starting to play with that. You know, right now you see a medium where we have kids with cameras that are going out and doing, hey, y'all watch this videos, and we're taking stuff that was designed for linear broadcast and we're putting it on this new delivery method. The next step is to start to get really interested in saying, what can we do with this thing? You know, I mean, what you're going to see is you're going to see a lot of niche uh, content channels. Um, you know, people have different ways of, of viewing content and different ways of interacting with content. Um, you'll see people, you know, gravitating, gravitating towards the G4s of the world where they want to, um, you know, have the Star Wars 2.0 experience and, and chat while they're watching something and interact with others. Um, you'll see people gravitating towards uh, long form content. You'll see people towards short form. Um, there's still, you know, always going to be room for uh, these kind of funny or die um, brief moments that you just want to laugh. Um, but, you know, it's, uh, people will seek out the content they want to seek out. You know, I think the main thing that's that's changed from, you know, a content angle is there's no reason for for people to actually hold on to those scripts that they've held on to for such a long time to you know looking for that that five to ten million dollar funding just to make the movie. If you can't get funding, you know, don't hold on to the script for for two years. Find a way to make it in short form, long form. You know, you can make it online. You can see if it's sustainable, and then if it's sustainable, you can always move to um, you know a long form piece of content. But it's, that's also easier said than done in, in, the, in the sense that if you're a writer, I mean, we got asked this by the press all the time when the writer strike started. You know, the, the, the great question was, oh, so now all the writers can just go on the internet and do their own thing? No, they're still just writers. You know, and not, I mean, obviously everything starts with a script, mm -hmm. but if you're a writer, it ends with the script. You've then got to produce it. You've got to cast it. You've got to pay for the catering. Uh, and so on and so forth. Catering. Trust me, catering is the most important thing you can do. It's all oh, these well, divas. <laughs> but, uh, you know, there's, there's so much more that you have to do. So it's not as simple as just, you know, here's my script, I'm done. You know, it, it, you can't. You've got to really uh, know the ins and outs of, the, of, uh, of filmmaking. I think one thing that's important for the, for the audience as filmmakers, I think, you know, you might be coming to this panel think, uh, hoping to have an answer like, well, well, what works? What's the, what, what, what's the nature of storytelling right now? And I think the first answer that we more or less agree on is there's not much established yet. But I think what's more important to understand is that the actual groundwork, the parameters that we're talking about playing in, those are not only not established yet, but are probably going to remain in heavy flux for another 10 to 20 years, and by which I mean the actual technologies that define the parameters and the options of what we're talking about here. So it's as though you're trying to start a car company at a point in time where it's not established that gasoline is going to be the universal form of energy that powers automobiles. So where, do, what do you learn how to build, right? Do you learn how to build ethanol-powered cars? Do you learn how to put a horse inside a wheel, right? What, what is it that you're focusing but, on figuring but you out? Do, you and those know. answers won't be there for another 10 to 20 years. But you do know you want to get people from point A to point B, right? I mean, you, you got to start, and I think story Right, but the right. network of gas stations, right, right matters in terms of getting someone exactly. from point A to point B. But and, it's, it's story. It's, you know, we come back to, you want to tell a good story. You, there are people that are hungry for that. They still want that. They still will gravitate towards that. So you do have, you know, in one sense, you have this fundamental premise, you know that people still want to get from point A to point B. The method is shifting underneath, and quite frankly, you just put a stake in the sand and you go, all right, I'm going to go run from there. It's like, like I said, who do you want to reach with this thing defines a whole lot of how do you start out. Um, there is no one right video codec. There is no one right video distribution channel. Um, you'll you'll drive yourself nuts looking for it. Yeah, and don't wait. I mean, don't no. wait yeah. for them to create it. I mean, literally three years ago, a lot of people, you know, asked me the question: Gosh, is mobile going to be, you know, a great medium? What is the the end code? How is it going to be distributed? Nobody knew that answer. Three years later, a lot of people are now saying: How do I get there? Right? They've got to catch up. Just get in the game. 
You're not going to get all the answers, but just get in the game and get your, your material out there. I mean, that really is and critical to Words of the Wise is something I just learned sadly this morning. <laughs> uh, uh, we have... Um, oh, wait, 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 can I tell you? Oh, no, 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 not that, actually. Uh, but nice, nice. Um, uh, Abigail is hosted on Rebel and uh, posted the latest episode yesterday and uh, in a timely fashion about Eve, uh, Eve Centeron's uh, untimely passing, and it's not showing up on the feed. So what's, you know, this is, this is very important, because if it's not showing up on the feed, no one's seeing it. 